At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Shelley Weir and Ms. Abby Cornelius, senior class sponsors. today. Oh, I put it in my folder. Hold on. So it's been our pleasure to be your class sponsors over the last four years. And um, I, if you don't know this about me, I'm a little bit of a non-conformist, non-traditionalist. So I didn't really feel like standing in front of you and just kind of saying some things about your lives. So I am gonna do something a little bit different. So, um, can you guys hear that? Um, so you know that song, like from when you're in preschool, like there was an old woman who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. You guys know that one? Okay, all right, well think, think that, but it's different. Okay, so here we go. There was a young Mustang that graduated high school. Not a fool to finish school. It's pretty cool. <laughs> there was a young Mustang who passed the course, so that Mustang really became a workhorse. <laughs> Get it, workhorse? <laughs> They passed the course to graduate high school, not a fool to finish school. It's pretty cool. There was a young Mustang who presented some info to show what they did know they presented some info. They presented some info to pass the course so that Mustang really became a workhorse. They passed the course to graduate high school, not a fool to finish school. It's pretty cool. There was a young Mustang who wrote the paper. Ah, oh, the paper! Sorry. We graded sorry, all 370 sorry. of those suckers. <laughs> what a caper to write that paper. They wrote the paper to present the info. They presented the info to pass the course so that Mustang really became a workhorse. They passed the course to graduate high school, not a fool to finish school. It's pretty cool. There was a young Mustang who took the test. What a mess to take that test. They took the test. They wrote the paper, they wrote the paper to present the info, they presented the info to pass the course, so that Mustang really became a workhorse. They passed the course to graduate high school, not a fool to finish school. It's pretty cool. There was a young Mustang who did a project, it was the object to do that project. They did the project and took the test. They took the test and wrote the paper. They wrote the paper to present the info. They presented the info to pass the course so that Mustang really became a workhorse. They passed the course to graduate high school, not a fool to finish school. It's pretty cool. There was a young Mustang who solved the problem. It was awesome to solve that problem. They solved the problem and did the project. They did the project and took the test. They took the test and wrote the paper. They wrote the paper to present the info. They presented the info to pass the course. So that Mustang really became a workhorse. They passed the course to graduate high school. Not a fool to finish school. It's pretty cool. There were some young Mustangs who learned all the things. Now spread your wings. You've learned all the things. You learned the things to solve the problems. You solved the problems to do the projects. You did the projects and took the tests. You took the tests and wrote the papers. You wrote the papers to present the info. You presented the info to pass the course. So you really, really became some workhorses. You passed the course to graduate high school. Not one fool to finish school. It's pretty cool.
one of my pieces of advice to you is find friends that will do outlandish things so you don't have to. And I really, really appreciate that. <laughs> Okay, so my job is to kind of sum up everything that she was kind of talking about. So what about it? What about all of these concepts? What about all of these skills? What about all of these things that teachers, parents have tried to impart to you all these years of your life? And it's only because of one reason. It's because of Starbucks. <laughs> Every time that I enter Starbucks, in that brief moment of time, that five minute transaction, I find myself thinking about all the different skills that we try to impart on you. So here's kind of a synopsis of this week, every time that I went into Starbucks, what I was thinking about. And number one is engage. It drives me crazy when I drive or get into Starbucks and immediately because they have this new thing about skipping the line for people that shop online that they can pass over me and I'm in the store. So the, all of a sudden they turn their back on me. I just want them hello. <laughs> I just want them to say, hi, I'll get to you, I promise I will. And I believe that because humanity needs a hello. It's human nature for us to be reassured. We're seen, we're heard. So in the moment, how this relates to you, guys, engage. Get your earphones, earbuds out of your ears. Listen to us, get off your phone. Be alive in the moment. Be aware of your surroundings. And guys, look at life, drink it in, become curious, question constantly. When you engage, the world truly will expand exponentially. Also, number two, know what you want. If you're in line at Starbucks, it's imperative that you know what you want. Don't get to the point of purchase and then peruse the menu. Drives me crazy. Don't hold up the line. This translates to you guys have a purpose and a plan. I don't want you to delay in the amazing future that lies ahead for you. Keep moving forward. Have a plan, implement it. If you're going to college, do it with gusto. It costs a lot. And if you're taking a gap year, I need you to investigate your interests, eliminate possibilities, keep moving. Don't stand still and look at that menu forever. Three, find a passion. Remember that engage that I talked to you about? Because I'm engaged, I listen. And it's incredible what you find out when you listen. Hence why we knew you were having a senior skip day. Um, I'm, I'm amazed at what the baristas talk about when they have their backs to me and they talk about how much that they hate their job, they hate their work schedule, they hated that unicorn specialty drink. I don't want to hear about what you hate. I want to know about what you love. I'm in more interested about your passions, and I need you to think about combine your passions with what you want to do for work, and you will be absolutely amazingly happy. The gift and the curse of being an adult is that you get to choose now. You can't blame it on us. And so no longer can we tell you what to do, what to take. So the question is, what are you going to do now? What feeds your soul? And the last one is have empathy. When the barista doesn't immediately say hi to me, it's all good. When the customer in front of me asks about five different latte drinks that I don't even know about, how they're all different and which has the lowest calorie count, it's good unless I'm coming late to work and it's not necessarily good that I try. And I don't know the whole narrative behind the five minute scene that I'm coming into in Starbucks. I don't know all about the barista's job and all the tasks that they have to accomplish. And I don't know why that customer is uncommonly curious. But when the barista that I've been to quite often, who I know already hates his job from previous interactions with them, 
all of a sudden is telling his coworker about the excitement that his play is opening at the Barn Theater this next Friday. And you realize that empathy is really, really important in this strange, beautiful world that we live in. We're all just sharing space. And when you are more empathetic and understand other characters, others will be more empathetic to you. So, so you've learned all the things. You've worked incredibly hard. You're ready for what comes next. And we are incredibly proud of you. You will always have a home here. Just don't come on Monday. You've graduated. Don't come back. We love you, but don't come back on Monday. We love you. We love you. And if you hear nothing else in the next two days, please hear this. You matter simply because you are. Your successes, your failures, your triumphs, your losses, none of that matters. You matter. You are important. And in the words of Dr. Maya Angelou, you alone are enough. You have nothing to prove to anybody. And you are loved by us. Congratulations, class of 2017.